Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity. I am doing a haste over here. We have to get the contents and artifact in a box. And it's quite hard. It's really good training for getting to grips with the stealth mechanics of the game. God damn it, pressing the wrong button. But easy it certainly is not. And the holy shit, this is a close call. Um, and the uh, enemy placement and stuff is actually pretty random. I've already discarded like two or three hours of footage of me failing for pretty yeah one, especially the last episode, I really got close. quite some really close calls which turned out good for Arno uh, but I also had quite some failings um, the thing is that enemy placement and stuff it's all a bit randomized holy shit but it's actually quite enjoyable to do this and for the stealth um, yeah, I, no. uh, yeah to do a stealth way To do a stealthy way is quite hard, but enjoyable. And actually now, er earlier I also I went to the left and took out all the guys over there, but I don't even think that is necessary. So yeah, th that's of course, I do try to avoid using stealth uh, or eagle vision as much as possible. I feel it really is a little bit of a cheating mode. But after yeah, playing it a couple of times now, at least this upper section, because the, the loot I think is down below that's where I failed the last time um, I do know this upper section now quite a bit and it is hard but yeah practice makes perfect so to say but what is pretty cool in this game I think at least is that also the enemy patrols are quite random it's not like they're always running or walking the same like route over and over sometimes they they oh. lean on a wall oh. sometimes they um, are not there at all because i was uh, yeah this is oh. holy shit that is a close call that is a really close call so nice actually investing a bit into stealth clothing really goes a long way as you can see here well now you didn't just up and vanish now did you what was that do they wake up their own i wonder doesn't matter i'm not gonna wait and see another guy down but uh, I, I forgot my train of thought but it's actually yeah it's pretty cool they, they are quite random in their their patterns and yeah it's, it's just all quite enjoyable and also this vibe this gate for instance really reminiscent of dark souls if you ask me uh, and the loot chest, yeah, this below, I didn't really get to below yet. But this will be much more challenging. Taking multiple guys out in the same room, but yeah, 
it's perseverance wins the day, I guess then. There is a guy over there uh, on uh, the other side that is now out of view. We will spawn in, I think at least, if he's still there, that uh, I will clear out first because that is the escape route. And then, yeah, there he comes. And I'm also like checking a bit, like how far is his field of vision? Will he see? Arno from over there, apparently not, so that's good. So I will first be taking him out now. Like so. And I'm clearing my exit routes. Probably I can better first try to get the... Um, item recovered or like the objective because I could still fail here and yeah, that's probably on my next attempt I will do that I will first get the chest and then I will do clearing out the exit routes as I get there because I'm not doing this but I may still fail down below because that's actually the hardest part I think uh, there's a guy over there Little bit lost. Where the hell am I? Ah, this is actually the way out indeed. That guy I had a really hard time with taking out because there is a sniper on the other side uh, over there uh, on the streets. And then you get all the way to the back over there there uh, is also a sniper on the bridge but I will worry about that later this is actually my way out I can clear out a couple of guys now but if I then fail uh, holy shit yeah, there's a guy over there that guy was there before uh, probably I should now focus on he's also doing like this really weird short circle pattern I don't think there's even a way to get to him is there some way over there I will just leave that guy be for now as well. Let's just now focus on retrieving the item before clearing out more item uh, guys. Because if I die before like clearing out all those guys, that will be just a waste of time. Because I can clear them out now. This is where I died the last time. Three guys over here. Is, uh, if I clear them out now successfully in the exit route and then I will die anyways down below here it will have all been for nothing clearing that exit route so I probably should do first things first alright this guy below is really patrolling around in between two rooms below there's also a room over there I'm now just checking there a gold chest here I don't really see a gold chest so I think the actual item is in the other below room but I first would like to take out that guy to the right because he actually also walks from this room to the other room so if I'm then clearing out that other room and I'm looting the chest and this guy randomly starts walking in yeah he will notice me and once you do get noticed apparently your reward goes down significantly so i 
really would like to do this non lethally fully stealthily and with at le the least use of eagle vision as possible and the non lethal part is more like uh, I, I don't mind killing dudes in this game but I would pref prefer to do it more like focused on the actual assassination targets from the primary uh, storyline and of course if people attack me I will attack back but just randomly killing off all these goons when I'm just looting a chest yeah it just feels a bit unnatural but this is a good example of how random their patrols are because this guy now seems to be limited the guy in the middle to this room well previously he actually um, went to this room as well like over there they're pretty connected closely connected so let's scout it out and also i need to make a plan on all right so at least there's uh, a ladder over here i can get back up here but i need to make a plan to take out those two guys really sure what the best plan is ah there's a letter over there as well which I can use to get behind them I guess only thing I'm just not sure about is how much sound choking out makes and is there a guy coming from over there as well I have no idea could very well be or maybe that's one of the areas I already cleared out anyways the good news is is that the guy from the other room doesn't seem to get over here anymore at least not now and these guys seems to be seem to be stationary as hell as well let's see if there's a chest in here where the hell is the actual chest ah, it's not here it's in a totally different room holy shit Alright, this was a little bit use of the <laughs> cheat mechanic, but so it's not here, the chest. I don't see any gold chest or something. It's also not here. I don't think there are a lot of other areas down below. All right, maybe over there. Let's just. I think this is the area I already cleared out. I'm not sure. But I think it is. So apparently there's also a room below over here. But ah, 
Ah, you actually hear the sound as well. Nice. So next time I will not be using Eagle Vision. I will just be going by hearing. But this actually seems... Ah, shit. There are two guys. I thought there was only one guy. Um, yeah, how to take them out? I have no idea, to be honest. Unless that pet guy... Ah, there are three guys here! Mm -hmm. Holy shit! I was thinking two! Alright, this is hardly doable, it seems. Ah, that guy actually m also moves away. So... But still, the guy over there is just overseeing the whole room. So, to me, they're really pretty sure that chest is locked, so I will need to lockpick it, or maybe not, I'm not sure, but I expect it. I could throw a smoke grenade, but yeah, they only last for so long, unless maybe I use multiple but what I'm now wondering is can you get from this bottom room to the others we were just s surveying I didn't see any way out of those others you there I heard what you said Right, he's walking away again. Yeah, so what is my plan? I need to make a plan, for sure. I'm just gonna try it. so happy all right let's wait for the other guy to come in probably he will immediately see me there he comes holy shit tense have my smoke bombs ready what was that whether they really wake each other but anyways I am pretty stoked with this god damn it very nice so I was really lucky choking out this first guy the other guy just yeah you know, randomly walked away I think he could or should have easily spotted Arno, but he did not. I'm just now checking this, uh, or maybe I shouldn't push my luck. Checking the layout of these areas. Because I'm curious how they interconnect these. Oh, shit, there is one. These below ground rooms, yeah, probably pushing my luck here. I'm going again. Uh, I've been playing this for too long now, really like four or five hours. Finally, have what I came from. I 
can easily still fill by the way um, what was this no idea where I'm in I am now ah this was where we came in all at the start pretty sure so this is all cleared out here and here we have other like bottom rooms uh, so there's there is like there are indeed two there's over there is also like a, a hallway over there there's like a tunnel i was wondering whether all these below areas do connect to each other i do think they do that one over there goes to the um, other bottom room we were surveying earlier being the one over here that tunnel over there is like stuck or, or closed ah there's also a way to the left i think just before the 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 below tunnel has like this gate or that uh, fence or barrier straight ahead but to the left i think you can go to the left and over here there's also like a tunnel which i think connects to the room we were just looking at i was just curious how this all connects to the actual room where the treasure treasure was which was all the way over there i think but probably there are enough um, So that was that other room. There are uh, enough tunnels to connect them. Just didn't, was not fully aware of all the tunnels. But we should take it easy, Arno. Anywho, ah no, that one is also closed off over there. So there's only a way fr from this one out to the left to the other bottom room we were just surveying and i think in that other room there's another tunnel which uh, i guess connects to the area below where the actual treasure was it's not like that treasure room was like an isolated room below but the layout i don't really have a clear mind map of it but i don't think there's anything there that is worth investigating but then if we have that one over there what is then this one that one is closed off that one is closed off that one is closed off here it does seem to be quite isolated i mean there's no way out of this area the only thing i can think of is if there is like a room to the left uh, a, a, a tunnel to the left over there yeah i do think there's something to the left over there i will not be um figuring it out because there's chances of failing is much too great accidentally um, there's still so much heist and stuff to do so let's try to make our way out which in itself is not at all guaranteed to succeed so we have that weird guy standing over there indeed 
but we will be going over here. And then what did we had over here? Yes, we had like a guy walking around to the left. I cannot make my way out over here into the river to the left because there are actually There's actually a guy walking over there as well. Holy shit. Oh man, I can still fail quite easily over here. I cannot really make my way, I think at least. Here, that guy over there. To the, um, to the river and just swim away because there's like this Sniper dude on the other side. But I'm just gonna take my chances. I'm gonna see if I can take him out. Also, seeing how far that guy looks, can he see Arno? No, he cannot. And now the question is do I have enough time to take out this guy if he looks? Then it would be right about now. Right, this is very, very tricky. Seems to work. Greedy me. Looting him as well. Because there is, ah, at least, what I thought there was. Ah, now there's the guy over there. Uh, further down the river, in that direction, there is actually also a sniper on the other side of the river instead of only on the bridge so i'm more to the right than i was actually expecting now let's try to take out this guy which will be a bit tricky because i think his movement pattern you should almost screwed it up his movement pattern is actually towards Arno, I would say. What is he doing? Is he just standing around? Oh. That was almost spotted by the sniper dudes. Let's see what he does. Going over there. Is he walking all the way back? No, not yet. Now he is. I'm taking my chances. Nice. Alright, be done with it, Arno. Damn it, be done with it. Like so. Alright, this is going better. Where is the dude? There he goes. All right. This will be it. Nice. Alrighty. Now there is a guy working on his boat, but he doesn't really move. And there is, of course, the sniper over there, but I would wager that if i now just go over here they will not see me anymore nice i think i actually succeeded for once in this heist with you i hope it was non-lethally fully stealthy and yeah with not too much use of eagle vision all right 250 plus 500 the co obsession has ended all right, very nice, completed. Woohoo! All right, that actually means that ah, it's still here. Why don't those things disappear? 
why doesn't it has like a checkbox like that I did it I mean if I'm like in other areas soon I really will have a hard time um, remembering which one I completed and which not of course I think I can go of course over here and check it out which one I completed but still it should it's it's a small effort to I would say put that on the um, in-game map as well like a little checkbox or something over here if you want to keep the icon i would just clear the whole icon from this map and if you want to replay it just do it via the progress tracker but if not if you for whatever reason random reason want to keep the co-op missions on the map while all the para stories and all the other uh, icons they do disappear after completing it but somehow the co-op and also the helix rifts if you complete them uh, for 100 percent they remain visible then that at least give it a little check mark or whatever for people who yeah are completionists or want to keep track of what they're doing don't want to do things over without uh, yeah without reason doing it over and over again just make it a little bit easy with like a checkbox or something I mean if you create a world like this this is really a world that's made for completionists for collectible hunters collectible hunters need a way to yeah keep a bit of track of where they are instead of yeah having to dive into all kinds of side menus to see whether or not they actually uh, completed uh, something anyways this does mean that this whole uh, Ile de la Cité area is now done because yeah you cannot see it but i already did these two i did this one and for the rest there are no more chests no more para stories uh no more accolades or whatever they're called cockades uh anymore so that's pretty nice um this is also a nomad point i think that's some kind also a co-op functionality even if you take uh, clear it, it it returns so please this just disregard um for now um what else did i wanted to say ah yeah there's another thing that's pretty cool mechanic i didn't knew but we have like also these nostradamus enigmas apparently they, they have like clues uh, and then you have to find a location in the world to pick up the uh fragments of nostradamus of a Nostradamus disc there are actually clues in the database in the in-game database with a lot of information on the uh, uh, people and the locations and general stuff so that is a really cool mechanic because this database I must say it's very well done it has a lot of uh, yeah what I assume to be historically accurate information it's actually really like a history lesson of the French Revolution of the 18th century really nice and what I also found pretty fun to notice is that um, because of checking some uh, uh, AC unity videos on YouTube I got like this recommendation on Jacques de Molay and this Jacques de Molay is actually the guy which is also in this game a Templar master or leader who got imprisoned and eventually put uh, to the stakes. He was burnt on the stakes, I think, uh, in 1314. He was burnt at the stake. This actually is all based on um, real history. This all happened. The Jacques de Molay indeed was a Templar, and uh, yeah, that really makes it all that more gripping that uh, also all these kings probably and uh, a lot of characters are actually based on um, real life persons and events so i really like that they how they tie in fiction with reality so to say also that those nostradamus enigmas have um, uh, clues inside these uh, database entries these informational sections um, and that um, which in itself also contain a lot of genuine uh, historic facts 
mixed up with like for instance Nostradamus Enigma clues it, it all it's like really coherent it's re uh, really uh, nice um, and there was one other thing no yeah that the Jacques Molay dude he's actually real life ah that's also one other thing i got uh, from that youtube video i was watching is that the templars actually were the good guys in the, the t time of jacques de molay jacques de molay in the prologue of this game which took place like in the the, the 14th century like around 1300 he was also portrayed as like a hero and that it was a really bad thing and as uh, the criminal thing of the king of france to actually um, round up all the templars and uh, imprison them confiscate their assets and um, um, put jacques de molay their leader uh, to the uh, yeah burn him to death um, have him sentenced to death um, and he the jacques de molay guy in the whole prologue he, he was really portrayed as like a good guy keeping order and that is actually also what i got from this youtube video that i watched on the templar uh, order with jacques de molay they were good guys they were like pious guys with uh uh yeah knights who actually um kept roads towards um religious locations and stuff safe from thugs and from um uh, all the criminals that were roaming the the uh, lands uh, around that time so what i'm still wondering about is now we are part of the assassins brotherhood how come the templars are now we are now like uh, uh, 500 years later in the 1800s or almost 1900 so let's say uh, 600 years later how come the Templars are now suddenly the bad guys? I have no idea, but as far, I, I'm not really that first into all the uh, AC uh, Assassin's Creed lore, but I have no clue how the um, Templars turned from the good guys in the 1300s to the bad guys in the 1800s. I have uh, no idea, but maybe we will find out about that once we read more uh, about the uh, in the database entries uh, going forward and maybe even the storyline of the main campaign itself will shed some light on that but for me that's now an open question but anyways to go i'm uh, babbling a lot um to go short it's really cool that this game has so much um yeah realistic historical facts uh yeah in its um story in its context and its background and stuff so that's really cool maybe probably other assassin's creed games have that as well i think the first assassin's creed also had like nostradamus links nostradamus himself was of course a real life person florence uh, i think that was the location of the first assassin's creed or at least somewhere in italy yeah, there were also probably a lot of real life uh, person uh, effects and events mixed in there so it's just a really cool concept i find like a fictitious game in in like this really realistic uh historical setting but i will stop babbling around hitting the 40 minute marker i'm really uh glad that i actually finished this first uh haste mission fully stealthily and fully non-lethally looking forward to what the game will bring and let's already have a brief peek at what we might be doing either i will be doing more of the um, cafe theater missions um, but that's like a four out of five diamond mission so it's probably pretty hard i can also maybe do um some this council briefing that's probably what i will be doing because i'm still missing the ranged uh, blades like the berserker blade and the hidden blades unless that is just like a skill i have to unlock that could be it is it just a skill here the phantom blades I don't even have the Phantom Blade that lets you fire twice 
or loan without reloading or loans berserk plates yeah berserk plates do i only get them after completing sequence nine i don't know but i don't even have the phantom blade brain stability now i think at least and maybe i need to progress a little bit further into the main campaign for those to be unlocked if i look here i yeah i have these two are still to the left they are still um, uh, locked so either in the next episode i will just do this cafe theater mission probably i will uh, and then let's just see how difficult four out of five diamonds is and then afterwards we will be doing some more uh, main uh, campaign missions to unlock um, to yeah maybe uh, some more abilities or skills uh, and that will also take us probably to different regions of paris because for now and i'm yeah more than 40 episodes in i've been actually only focusing on this little uh, center island um yeah but that's what the plan is uh for the next episode guys hope you enjoyed sorry for my very long rant uh hope to see you in the next one and for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming see you later